Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Easy Aviation. Here we discuss about the short simple topic about the aviation field. Today's topic of discussion is the fundamental difference between these three projectiles which is bomb, rockets and the missile. So these three projectiles can be differentiated with these three major components which are fitted in either of them or all three of them. So first is the warhead which is the explosive which is there in the projectile. Second is the propulsion. So propulsion is the system which takes this warhead or explosive from point A to point B. Point A is the source and point B is the target. And third is the guidance system. Guidance system is the system which is fitted in the projectile, in this projectile, which can steer the complete projectile in the direction where it wants to, so that the projectile can go and hit the target with higher probability. I'll again further uh, disintegrate the complete discussion separately for each one each one of the projectiles. So first is the bomb. So I have written some literature over the bomb. So the bombs are the warhead or explosive charge, which I have already told there is an explosive charge, which is wrapped inside a aerodynamic shell to give the stability. So there is an aerodynamic shell as you can see in the figures. And in, the in this aerodynamic shell or the metallic shell, there is an explosive field inside this as it falls towards the target. Only force act post release from the aircraft is gravity. I will I'll help you out with, with this statement in the figure. It does not have a propulsion system or guidance system. So as I have told, there are three basic uh, differentiator that is first is the warhead, propulsion and the guidance system. So in bombs, there is no propulsion system or no guidance system and no guidance system. There is only the warhead or the explosive and only the initial momentum and the gravity steers the bomb towards the target and that's why they are known as dumb bombs. So I'll, I'll help you out with, the, with this figure. This The first figure is the example of Mark 81, 82, 83, 84. There is a Mark 80 family bombs and there are other, other bombs. This is one of the example and they are generally uh, segregated on basis of their, the amount of explosive they can carry or the weight of the explosive. So Mark 81 is the smaller bomb which is having a 250 pounds of explosive inside this and accordingly I have written for each one of them and that's how the size gets bigger. Towards the dropping, the bombs are fitted in the aircraft, are fitted or being carried by an aircraft and when the aircraft moves in the forward direction, and uh, the bombs are dropped. So for each bomb, there is a forward velocity component or the forward momentum because of the movement of the aircraft and then the gravity is there. So forward momentum and the gravity gives the resultant vector and this is this is the force which helps the bomb to steer towards the target in the project in the motion which I which I am showing. So let's say there is a target and it is it is required to be calculated at where to drop the bomb so that initial momentum and the gravity acts on the bomb bomb and then it can hit the target. I hope this much is clear. So in a bomb, okay, this is a okay. In a bomb, there is no pr propulsion which is taking this bomb from point A to point B, and there is no guidance. It is once dropped, it will go and hit the target or a huge land mass, uh, a huge area for the, for the destruction. So basic purpose of the bomb is to destruct uh, a large portion of the of the land of or the target. Uh, let's say the building or the enemies tankers, uh, fuel, uh, uh, let's say uh, airstrip uh, or uh, a camp of the terrorist. So in those cases, the bombs are required we, where you don't need to target a single, uh, single point, single target or precise target rather. Coming to the rockets. So rockets are the unguided warhead, which I have already discussed. That's a, they, they are the bombs which are attached to a propulsion system. So they are nothing, they are the bombs which we have already discussed but there is a propulsion system in it. No form of guidance is there, still the guidance has not come and thereby they are known as dumb, dumb weapon and with propulsion rocket travels faster and further than a bomb. So only difference between a bomb and a rocket is that rocket has a propulsion system which takes these bombs or the explosive or the, uh, the warhead from point A to point B on a faster rate. At, in the previous section, only the for, for, forward momentum and the gravity steer the bomb. But in this case, in an aircraft, in an aircraft, sorry for the drawing, 
if the rocket is fitted, the rocket can be launched with a propulsion system and the, it can take from point A to point B to hit the target. So in this case, since there is no guidance system, uh, initial lock on the target is taken as the, is considered as the final and the rocket is being launched on the target. If the target moves, the rocket will miss the target. So these rockets uh, are being utilized where you have a fixed precise target and the target is not moving. You can launch the warhead, the explosive from farther distance and with the help of the propulsion, it can take, uh, it can send this rocket or the warhead or the explosive from farther distance point A to the target point B. This will safeguard the source as in if the, if the rockets are being launched from the aircraft, it will, say, uh, it will uh, I mean the, 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 the aircraft doesn't have to go to the enemy territory and the rockets and the warhead can be launched from farther distance. So that is the whole uh, idea of inventing a rocket. Uh, the, the, if, if you take the analogy, uh, it is like a bow and arrow where the arrow can be sent farther with the initial momentum of the string of the bow. So this is same. So coming to the missile, I hope, uh, okay, the, the figure which I have attached, uh, they are Hydra 70 rockets and this is a rocket pod, this is called a rocket pod, which is fitted on the weapon boom, missile boom it is called as, or the, uh, or the strong point of the aircraft and this rocket can carry some 12, 12 uh, rocket pod can carry 12 rockets and uh, yes there are options comes what kind of warhead you can choose that's a separate different separate topics warhead as in like you can have splinters in the warhead you can have an explosive into the warhead as a as a warhead so when the warhead uh, um, is hitting the target what kind of effect the source or the user want so on basis of that the rocket warhead can be chosen but uh, we'll stick to the topic rockets is having a propulsion system and an explosive and that's it. It is can be launched from farther distance from point A to point B that is the target and A is the source. Coming to the missile part, so if we take an unguided rocket which we have already just discussed the previous part and add guidance to the system the result is a missile and this is the smart bomb or smart, smart warhead because it is having a warhead the three initial differentiator which I have already discussed there is a warhead there is a propulsion system and there is some form of guidance. So, a, how it is doing it? A seeker unit, it detects the target. So, there is a seeker unit. I mean, I am coming to the guidance part. How the guidance controls? Because the propulsion is simple, which I already discussed. There is a, a propulsion. Uh, there is a motor. There is a rocket motor. There is some kind of propulsion, which is uh, giving thrust to the uh, missile to go forward. Uh, there is a warhead, which we already discussed. Which is, there, there is some explosive, which is filled inside the metallic shape. Now coming to the guidance part, how it is differentiated from missile, uh, from a rocket and the bomb. So there is a seeker unit which identify the target. Information is coming from the target to the seeker unit. Seeker unit tells the computer, there is a computer and the computer is now controlling the fins or these are the control units which can steer the, the missile as how the targets are moving. If the target is not stationary and the target is moving, the missile can also keeps on tracking the uh, the target, gives the information to the computer and the computer is now controlling the fins, which I have just shown. So I hope I have made my, my, my topic clear. I will just conclude it in these three figure. So this is a bomb. There is no propulsion, no guidance system, only this metallic shell contains the warhead and it is being dropped from the aircraft there is an initial moment momentum there is a gravity and the resultant will steer the bomb from the source to the target this is bomb coming to the rocket this is a rocket uh, same hydra 70 rocket there is some fuel there is a motor which is propelling out the uh, the jet which is steering not steering which is taking the rocket faster from point A to point B from source to target and uh, there is a warhead in filled inside the metallic case and then there is a fuse pin and all this thing so that is the, the, the separate part. So to, uh, this is how the rocket is differentiated from the bomb. Coming to the missile, this is an Astra missile. So there is some form of guidance uh, or the seeker unit 
seeker units are of different type they can seek the heat which is ir they can seek the radio frequency rf seeker ir seeker so there are different there's a different part of it so there is a seeker which seeks some information from the target it tells it to the computer computer controls the fin propulsion is remains the same as what rocket is having and then there's a warhead inside that so i hope i have uh, concluded and uh, the video i have i have made the topic on uh, comfortable for you guys to understand i mean now can easily differentiate between a bomb a rocket and a missile and uh, if you have any further query you can please uh, post it anytime in the comment section and uh, i'll try to clear or make another video on those topics so here i sign off thanks a lot thank you for watching my video